guys really think that marriage was going to be possible? Never thought it was possible. Never until Massachusetts. Never until Massachusetts. Never occurred to us. Really. But you considered yourselves engaged, which is interesting. That's right. Uh, we, well, we considered ourselves not single. Okay. Right. I right. mean, whatever that is. Uh, I was, by the way, extremely careful about money. For instance, when we bought this place, uh, we each wrote a check for exactly 50%. I printed out her check register and my check register, and I have them. I have them still, because if anybody wants to say, yeah, but who gave you the money? Okay, it's perfectly right. clear that came from my bank account for a long time and from hers. And we for had a long to do time. that to make sure to there make was sure ownership. that okay, because otherwise they're gonna, you know. Which uh, sort of answers my question about uh, uh, one of the one of the people sent in a question. Your commitment to Thea was obvious as you nursed her through years of declining uh, physical health. During this time, were there other challenges you faced because you did not have a legal marriage license? We had uh, life insurance at IBM, you know, and. Uh, and so I wrote my beneficiary was her. And then you have to say the relationship, I have to say friend. They returned my, my application, okay, saying sorry, it has to be next of kin. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. that, that was a different IBM then, okay. But, uh, so how did you set up the legal stuff to make sure you guys were protected or did you just take a chance uh, on that as well, by many then, of us did? We had been involved with her, with her stepmother, uh, we were in probate for about four years. We formed uh, trusts. Okay. Okay. And nobody can touch you with a trust. Right. And, and our wills simply said, we don't expect that anything will be probatable, but should it be, okay, we then want it to, okay, the beneficiary is my trust, and if my trust doesn't exist, it's her trust. Okay? I see. We ended up owning this place. We didn't own it. Her trust owned half and my trust owned half. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. So what was your reaction when you were first served the, uh, the estate tax bill after Thea passed away? Well, a couple of things. One, I had the impression that if you gifted someone within three years of death, then that came back in your estate, but otherwise it was okay. And it took us a long time to discover that that wasn't true. And uh, in which case, over the course of those years, Thea had gifted me $600,000. And, uh, and she split it immediately, okay? Because, because we were trying the... to keep it even yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, and I was amazed when that 600000 and that did pull us over the top. Oh, okay. I see, okay. So you so, really had to watch yeah. every penny yeah. and make sure every yeah. penny was equally yes. divided, yeah. and that was the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, very careful. It broke my heart, too. I thought she would, you know, I'm glad she doesn't know. Okay. Well, and then that's the next thing I was going to yeah. say. What would she have said about receiving that tax bill? She would have said, oh, shit, honey, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Okay. She would have felt, yeah, yeah that you guys yeah. didn't do yeah. Yeah. all you could do yeah. to protect from that. Except, well, except she knew we did all we could do. But I still, really, yeah. even yeah. with the... But you can't beat it. Okay. Oh. Without a marriage yeah. license. Now, Brendan... Uh, Brendan called Eddie DeBonis. He called me and he said, Brendan gave me your phone number, is that all right? I said, Brendan could do anything. That's okay. Right. <laughs> okay. And then he said, I have a few lawyers that I'd like to address. Maybe uh, there may be somebody who's interested. And, uh, and the next day, Robbie Kaplan walked in this, this apartment. Okay. Thank God. And in no <laughs> Thank time. Thank God for that matchup, right? In no That's time, awesome. within, within, as she says, within seconds, but certainly within minutes. She said, I want you to read the, my brief for the last marriage thing I, tr I did. I lost the case, but I want you to read the brief. And I went to the computer while she was here, and I read it. And I said, it, you know, it's brilliant. And, uh, and she said, all right, do you still want me, knowing I lost the case, you still want, want me to do it? And I said, absolutely. And she said, you know, I'd like very much to, to do it, okay, totally pro bono. And I was see seeing some jerk lawyer who made eighty thousand dollars off of me, or I, maybe she returned ten as a courtesy afterwards. Uh, my first question, to Robbie, was if I leave that lawyer, can she hurt me in any way? And Robbie said, No, absolutely not. Everybody said, All you do is you write her a letter saying you'd like, you know, uh, thank her, thank you very much, but send me all my stuff, 
and, and until I wasn't allowed until after the decision to throw anything away. So right. my office is now like a, a, a storage oh, thing, well, yes, which we're course. now working on, you know, of course. destroying paper. Uh, of course. Well, we, we're but, very grateful yeah. that you went forward but, with it, obviously. <laughs> but if Brendan hadn't done that, I wouldn't have had any idea where to turn to move on. Okay, so if she were here today, what would Thea say about your experience at the Supreme Court and the direction of marriage equality? She would be saying, go for it, honey. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I kept finding things in drawers. And, uh, and it's a piece of paper that said, you did, and she couldn't write, you understand, for years before, well, that, before she died. I just want to clarify that okay. for, for people. She, first of all, she learned to write with her left hand. She was very right-handed. And then she couldn't write at all. Okay. And uh, so... Uh, so this was written obviously years ago, and I said, "You did it, honey! And Congratulations!" You found this. And I swear, I think, I truly think, I found it on the day of the uh, that we won in the appeals court. Okay. And you found yeah, you this note that it. she wrote years okay. ago. That's amazing. And, and I took it out. Okay, it's her her handwriting, no question, her handwriting from ten years before, and. Uh, and I realized, I tried to figure out what could it be. The only thing it could be that you would, you know, that, that expressive about it had to have been when I stopped smoking. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. She, she was right. very, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's Which, just weird okay. how that note turned up right on that day. Yeah. Robbie said we weren't going to do press outside the Supreme Court, that we were going to go back to Paul Weiss and do it there. So I'm totally unprepared. We're walking out, and she hands me a typewritten, single-space uh, speech, okay? <laughs> and I said, what do, you want, what, do we, what do you want me to do with this? And she said, well, for the, read it to the press. So I said, no way, okay? <laughs> so I went out, and, and, and they started to ask, ask things, and, and I said, somebody gave me a piece of paper with a lot of stuff on it, and I'm not going to read it. <laughs> and I crumpled it up. And, the, and the, the master picture of it shows me with a crumpled piece of with my head. We had a great time hanging out together in the in the lobby of the hotel. Actually, yeah, yeah. we took a peaceful moment, all of us, and had a, a couple of drinks and really tice to relax the night before. And the truth is, I wasn't supposed to. No. Okay. No. okay. But she did anyway. I wasn't supposed to. Not and the first time okay. in your life that you didn't listen. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I have this handful of friends who are here, for God's sake. Oh, and I can't even get to see them. Okay. That's right. So I invited everybody to come for drinks. Yeah. Okay. I feel as if I have a love affair with the gay community. And it started with when Stonewall happened, I was really this ignorant middle class lady. He said, I don't see why I have to be identified with those queens. Only those queens changed my life. And, uh, and I saw them and loved what I saw. So it was the beginning of my sense of community. And then with the Doma cases, uh, suddenly, okay, the self-esteem is just, just flowing. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, even these judges are saying, you know, we're respectable, okay? And, uh, and, uh, and so we became com coming out in droves. And the more we came out, the more we saw each other, and the more we loved, and the more of us came out. That's right. Okay. Until we're just this huge, joyous, loving community. And, and I live in the middle of it. <laughs> and, okay, and it's, and it's great. <laughs> likely go down in history as the face of the civil rights movement's greatest victory for gay and lesbian Americans. What would you like your legacy to be? What would you like people to think of? That's the legacy. Just That's the, the legacy. whole yeah. encompassing, okay. my gift Everything. to you is, yeah. mm -hmm. and what would you think Thea would like to say that she's not here to say for herself? She would say, That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> the song, the Edie song? No. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's written by a guy, a guy, a girl, okay, uh, that, that I met on one of the cruises. He's a brilliant musician, and I'm going to play it for you right this minute. <laughs> okay. Watch, watch, watch. Take okay. your little, and I'm take sure your little microphone with uh, you. Okay. Uh, <laughs>